Paso, Marico, Inuma na tayo, Filipino, Filipino, eh! Nonito Donaire Jr., The Filipino Flash, ang patpating bata na nakaranas ng matinding pang-aapi noon. Lalabas ng lungga para harapin ang takot na bumabalot sa kanyang pagkatao. Tatahaki ng mundo ng boxing at magiging world champion sa apat na magkakaibang divisyon. Sobrang galing itong bata na ito. He should really now be way up. The guy who fights on HBO, we have, we have one bantamweight who fights on our air. His name is Nonito Donaire. Yeah, I heard of him. You, know, you think Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather are good, right? You've seen that, right? Mm-hmm. Watch Donaire and tell me what you think. An outcome, an outcome of victory, and that's what I see. Pinanganak sa buhol, namulat ang kaisipan sa Jensen. Nag-aral sa paaralan kung saan ang nanay niya ay isang guro. Sa parehong paaralan kung saan nag-aaral si Manny Pacquiao at Bubuy Fernandez na nagkataon na estudyante naman ng kanyang nanay. Dahil likas na malaki si Bubuy kumpara sa ibang mga bata, pinangakuan siya ng nanay ni Nonito na ipapasa kung ipagtatanggol niya si Nonito laban sa mga nambubuli sa kanyang anak. Labing isang taong gulang lumipad patungong Amerika. Walang kaalam-alam sa malaking ambisyon ng kanyang ama. Si Glenn at Nonito ay inaasahan niyang tutupad ng nabigo niyang pangarap na maging world champion. Sa murang edad na bigla si Nonito sa mga nangyayari. Hindi niya gustong magboxing. Pero dahil nakikita niyang proud ang kanyang tatay, ibinuhos ang lahat para ipanalo ang bawat laban. Sa kanyang amateur career, nagawa niyang manalo sa tatlong national championships. The National Silver Gloves, National Junior Olympics, at National USA Tournament. Nagawa niya rin masungkit ang International Junior Olympics Gold Medal noong 1999. Hindi kalaunan ay parang naging tahanan na rin niya ang boxing gym, ang US Karate and Boxing Gym, kung saan siya hinasa ng trainer na si Joe Olivares at kung saan nakilala niya din at naging kaibigan ang future Hall of Famer na si Andre Ward na tumulong sa kanya sa panahon ng kanyang kagipitan. There was a time where he was thinking of hanging him up in the early days. He didn't have any money. Yeah. And he tells a story about finding money that you put in his backpack so yeah. that he could travel and eat. He had a decent amateur uh, pedigree at that time. But again, he had hit like he had hit a crossroads. You know, he was just he didn't care about boxing. Um, money was an issue. Yeah, yeah. Imagine we didn't have any new dinner because Andre yeah. Ward <laughs> oh, didn't man. put a few pounds in his, in his gym bag. Yeah. Naging pro noong 2001 At anim na taong nakikipagdigma bago magkaroon ng pagkakataon na makakuha ng title shot has predicted a knockout. Hold off now. 
July 7, 2007, nagulat ang buong bansa. May tumalo na sa undefeated champion na si Victor Chinian. Ito ay isang Pilipino. Pinagayway niya ang bandila at mayroong The Filipino Flash sa kanyang pangalan. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go for knockout. I'm gonna punish my opponent. I just hope nothing bad gonna happen. He's gonna walk out by his legs from ring. But I'm gonna kill not destroy and gonna smash him. Fifth round knockout para maagaw ang IBO at IVF flyweight title. I'm gonna punish my opponent. I just hope nothing bad gonna happen. He gonna walk out by his legs from ring. But I'm gonna, gonna destroy and gonna smash him. Sa kanyang pinakaunang titulo, nagawa niya makuha ang The Ring Magazine, Knockout of the Year, and Upset of the Year. I proved to the world that I'm something now, and I would like to thank everybody. Mabukay ang Pilipinas. At dito na nagsimula ang kampanya ng kanyang legasiya. To me, boxing is, is something that I grew up with, and it's pretty much my life. It's something that, that has given me everything that I have. This fight is more of getting to the next level of my dream. Pero mas naging kompleto ang pagiging kampiyon ni Nonito na makilala niya ang kanyang mapapangasawa, si Rachel Marshall, ang magpapatibok ng kanyang puso. Si Rachel Marshall ay magkakaroon ng malaking impluensya sa mga magiging desisyon ni Nonito Donaire sa kanyang buhay at karera. Um, we're here in CSM, uh, trying to do our morning run. Maybe today we're gonna do a little bit of sprinting. Gonna run a little bit, a few laps, warm up, and then sprint for a few minutes. Tatlong beses pa niyang dinepensahan ang titulo at isa dito ay ginanap sa Pilipinas sa Araneta Coliseum laban sa undefeated boxer na si Raul Martinez. Try to take care of him. He's had a little Texas two-step there. Going across the middle of the ring. Martinez. Don't blink, folks. Martinez made the point to us. If I can take his punch, it's going to be a very difficult night for Donaire. But even he had to say, that's the question. Donaire is a very powerful puncher. And always... Oh, and the left hook on the chin. And down goes Martinez. He's shaking it off. Did we mention the left hook? Clearly, the combination. There's the boxer you were talking about, Al. Is that no answer? 
what Donaire does in this, you know, the reach is about the same. He's got a couple inches in height, and he fights tall. Donaire fights tall. That's part of the reason what, that what makes him kind of a bad matchup for some of the other people in his division is what helped him in the Darchinian fight. This is his signature punch. The left hand is just great. Whoa, you know, perfect he, he throws it as an uppercut. He throws it as a hook. <laughs> and it is a devastating punch. And anybody in this division or a division above when he moves up to 118 had better beware of it because he can knock anybody down with it. Ngayon ay isa na siyang ganap na Filipino pride, superstar at isang idol. Mga katanggap siya ng prize money sa Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Pero ang perang ito ay ibabalik niya sa mga taong nasa lanta ng bagyong undoy. Pagkakataon para makatulong. And then uh, get the job done faster. Pack some noodles, some cans, and rice. Uh, so the only problem now with the noodles is having hot water. That's all. <laughs> Jun Jun is the, has a new title. He's the master packer. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm not a regular packer anymore. I'm a master packer. <laughs> Sa kanyang popularidad, marami din ang nakapansin. Nawala na si Nonito Donaire Sr. sa kanyang kanan. I had two jobs. To support, I had to support his mom and his brother who had no grocery money. Lahat ng mga, mga pera na binibigyan ng mother ko for boxing, ang sinabi nila na for boxing, iniinom lang ng father ko eh. Nang bababae lang eh. Nonito Sr. swears he did everything in his son's best interest and he never stole from him. Kundi totoo yun. Ang binigay sa akin, Chiki, yung akin, yung 12,500, yun ang akin. Hindi ako nagano ng Chiki niya. Paano ko kukunin kung hindi akin? Makikita mo sa bangko kung nag-deposit ako ng pira, hindi, hindi akin. Napakasinungali mo. Nonito Sr. now works as a welder in the storage plant in Concord. He commutes about an hour every day from San Leandro. He asks us to judge for ourselves if he would still be doing this if there is truth to allegations that he amassed his son's wealth. Ang hirap-hirap ng buhay ko. Ang sarap na magpasalamat kayo, Richel, dahil you got everything. You enjoy it. Hindi kalaunan dahil sa mga controversial na issue sa kanyang pamilya. Uhusgahan siya ng mga tao. Sasabihin hindi niya kaya magpakalalaki para balansehin ang kanyang asawa at pamilya. At sasabihin, si Nonito ay isang under desire. Ganun pa man ay marami pa rin siyang solidong taga-suporta na ipagtatanggol siya. Hati ang opinyon ng Madda. Sa kabila ng ito ay mananatiling positibo sa pagpapatuloy ng kanyang karera. Sinubukang bunuin ang super flyweight pero hindi na nakakita ng magandang oportunidad. Wala nang gustong lumaban sa kanya sa timbang na ito. Kaya nagdesisyon na na naktawa ng dibisyon para umakyat sa bantamweight. Sa timbang na ito ay lubusang maiintindihan ng mga fans kung gaano kalakas at kung gaano kabilis ang left hook ng The Filipino Flash. Sa legendary na si Robert Garcia sa kanyang tabi at asawa na todo suporta sa kanya. Nonito Donaire was unstoppable. I'm confident and I'm happy now. And I'm ready. So, karabulo sa sinagay ka nun. Ah, kawagay na ito. Ah, stop it! Guard na lang natin. Hajit yun na kanya nun. Zuyibang, ano? Donaire no miken mo chotto akai mong ga tsite masu ne. So, desu ka? Onaji mo nattel mo chotto. Oh, ay, nakar mo na kamta! Sunod niyang aagawin ang trono ng hari ng Bantamweight na si Fernando Montiel. Hoy por hoy es el gallo no solamente de México.
Atlético del Mundo, bien plantado, otra vez conectando con la izquierda. Que duran trabajando duro y ahora la mano derecha. Fernando Montiel has been for years a world-class fighter. The Philippines and Mexico. ¿Quién es el más macho? Makukuha niya ang WBC at WBO title. Nonito Donaire, oh my god! Perfect! that exactly what I did. I just wanted to see how his body was, how, um, where his head was gonna be, and that's when I timed it. I mean, I, you know, you have to take some in order for you to gain some knowledge. So you're operating in the matrix, everything is slowed down for you? Pretty much, that's what I keep telling everybody, but people think I'm crazy because I can see it that way in that ring. And that's why I knew exactly what was gonna happen, where, where, where he was gonna be at, and uh, definitely, I did it. Ang laban na ito ay tinanghal the knockout of the year. Nothing more determined than a fighter out to prove something to not only himself, but to his family. Now, Nito Donaire as a fighter is elite level, high caliber, pound for pound level talent. He's slick, he's fast, he's got good power. He's really a complete fighter. And the things he can do are not necessarily fundamentally grounded or sound, but they are, are just natural. And that's what he is, he's a natural talent. Para mapatunayan na lehiti mo ang kanyang mga knockout para maiwasan ang dayaan sa mga laban. Ipopromote niya ang VADA 24-7 sa bawat kontrata. Taong 2012, aakyat at maghahasik ng lagim sa Super Bantamweight. Lalaban siya ng apat na beses sa looban lamang ng isang taon. Maagaw niya ang WBO World Title laban kay Wilfredo Vasquez Lozada. It's a face-to-face. -face. There's, there's energy flowing. There's, there's eagerness and, and, and anxiety and, and excitement and everything all together. You just don't do that. You just got crazy and then all of a sudden everybody started running. You know, I'm not the type of person to, uh, to start things. I've known my whole life as a, as a kid who's been bullied that, you know, we just don't start stuff. But we learn to defend ourselves. And I hate to give predictions, but I think it's got a real chance to go the distance. I think it's going to be a real solid fight. Round one begins. And you heard what Donaire said about wanting vengeance for what he saw as disrespect at the news conference. I don't care about the belt. I don't care about the money. I just want to knock him out. Rhythm!
I don't, I don't want him to think that he even has a chance, okay? As soon as you land punches, you're hurting him. Whoa, now, perfect let's time. Let's that uppercut to a, to a hook. Little by little, you're breaking him apart, okay? He doesn't, he's even scared to throw punches. Mayo unify niya ang WBO at IVF laban kay Jeffrey Matebula. Finish him! Dedepensahan niya ito laban kay Toshiaki Nishioka, ang legendary fighter ng Japan. of performance enhancing drugs in boxing this man is the beacon of hope this man has committed to 24 hour a day seven day a week 365 day per year random testing he allows his tests to be broadcast on the web the test results are fully public it is done by the most sophisticated right. testing service available in the united states if there's any athlete in combat sports or in any sport for that matter who can absolutely state without any indication that he's being dishonest about it that he is clean it is no need to donate sa kabilang dako apat na araw bago sumabak sa mexican legend na si jorge arce the executioner have fallen at kagaya ng buong bansa si Dunaire ay hindi makapaniwala sa natanggap na balita Nakaabang ang buong Pilipinas. Against Donaire, I will win by knockout. At the right place and at the right time. The left hook upstairs and there goes Arce to the canvas on a quick, short, straight right hand. The aggression of Arce played right into Donaire's hand. Itataas na muli ni Donaire ang bumagsak na moral ng mga Pilipino. And Jorge Arce is rubbing a glove against his left eye. Good right hand by Donaire. And another left uppercut. And down goes Arce on a brilliant left hook. And that just might be that. And it is. He earned the nickname. The New Executioner. Nolito Donaire with his fourth win of 2012. Sa pagiging kampiyon sa tatlong dibisyon, sa apat na impresibong panalo sa looban lamang ng isang taon, at sa pakikipaglaban para sa karangalan ng bansa, tinanghal si Nonito Donaire Jr. na 2012 Fighter of the Year. Nasa tuktok ng mundo ang ating pambato. April 2013, makakaharap niya si Guillermo Rigondeau, two-time Olympic gold medalist 
undefeated sa kanyang professional na karera. Isang mandirigma ng Cuba. Ganarle a todos los que dicen que como yo tengo 11 peleas, no tengo experiencia. Y ya se ven los resultados cuando sale la campana. Simplemente. Well, I think the 11-0 professional record is less meaningful for him than for a lot of other fighters because he did so much as an amateur. He was fighting for world championships, Pan American Games championships, Olympic gold medals. This is not a guy who arrives in the professional ranks and now needs to be schooled. He's schooling his opponents. I'll say this about Rigandau, of all the Cubans that have turned pro, he's the guy I was most excited about. He's the guy I thought was most for real and posed the greatest threat to the pros because of his superb defense and real punching power. Habang mainit sa mata ng mga gutom na leyo na gustong lumapa sa kanya. So for me, importante yung laban na yun for me. At hindi nyo po kami binigo, kami mga Pilipino ay sobra pong thankful sa inyo at proud na proud po kami sa naibigay ninyong honor at victory sa ating bansa. His victory was talagang timing na timing para sa atin lahat. Mga kapamilya, isa sa mga eh, pinagmamalaki natin, Pinoy, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. Uh, malakas din, ha? Malakas din po. Malakas kasi nakita ko nagpasapasa din yung... Sensitive po. Oo, oh, sensi oh, sensitive ka nga. Kaya kayo ko itong biruin, eh. <laughs> <laughs> kasi baka masakta ng puso mo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's no way we could be blessed anymore. And then, surprise, I'm pregnant, you know? The baby's due July 21st. We had found out it's a boy. So, of course, Nonito is always saying, you know, he's, he's gonna be a boxer. It's Papa, uh-huh. Yeah. You wanna box? Because I know you're moving out there, I can feel you. Whenever he um, touches my stomach and feels him, he doesn't say it's a kick. He says that he's punching him, and they're doing mitts. In the ultrasound, like, he's like this the whole time. Like, all the pictures that we have, he's like this. And then every time that uh, I talk to him, he starts to move, he starts to punch, you know. Now, at this time of my career, is when people are usually vulnerable. You get fight of the year, you get a baby coming. But I guarantee you, come in the fight, you'll, you'll see the best. No need other than that. Just broke up. These are these are nuclear exactly. bombs they're trading. <laughs> and left hook was exactly the explosion oh. that they're looking left hook by Donaire. He finally got himself in the position to land See? something and landed it very big. Go and then go back to the drawing board. And uh, we didn't we didn't do nothing. We did, I didn't study and that was a mistake that I did. Ang susunod sana ng Manny Pacquiao ay napigilan ng isang Cuban. Si Nonito ay isa ng ganap na ama. Bagay na magpapaalala sa kanya kung gaano kahalaga ang pamilya. Si Nonito Donaire Jr. at Sr. ay muli magsasama sa ring sa panandali ang panahon. 2013 sa parehong taon, susubukan niyang ibalik ang dating uhaw na Donaire. Aakyat ng featherweight division para muling makaharap si Victor Chinyan sa isang non-title fight. I was waiting for this fight in 6 years since 2007. I was waiting for my rematch. I'm ready for him. I know his weaknesses. I know what he able to do, and I know his skills. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna upset him. I'm gonna make him up. So they're relearning each other. Donaire, as the years went by, became more and more of a, a puncher and less of a boxer. In a moment, we'll show you the two fighters who are coming up. Argentinian knocks Donaire back into the ropes with a left hand. Pagkakataon para sariwain ang gigil ng The Filipino Flash.
The Filipino flash. Yeah, here no need to. Stoppage. Yeah, he threw a rough uppercut right here. Nonito's got to come back, you know. I'm sure he's going to be the featherweight champion, 126 pounds, because Nonito's that good. Taong 2014, muli na namang magiging kampyon. Matagumpay na makukuha ang WBA title. Laban kay Simpewi Bicheka, isang South African champion. is now a four division world champion champion pero sa panandali ang panahon sa unang pagkakataon sa karera ni Nonito Donaire ay makakarana siya ng technical knockout sa mga kamay ng isang talentadong Jamaican na si Nicholas Walters For the first time in my life, I touched the canvas. It changed the person that I am. Because the moment that I went down was the moment that I was thankful about my life. I realized that I needed change. Taong 2015, matapos ng pagkatalo sa featherweight division, ay muling bababa sa super bantamweight at susubukan sungkitin ang bakanting WBO title. Dito ay makakaharap niya si Cesar Juarez ng Mexico. Nonito Donaire against Cesar Juarez. Donaire trying to find his place once again. Can he do it tonight and reclaim a world title? Lalaban siya sa Cebu para depensahan ang titulo laban kay Salt, Mr. Left Hook Bedak. I've watched Manny's fight pero sa Vegas Pero dito sa Pinas, first time ko na ganito malaki Sa parehong card ni Pacquiao laban kay Jesse Vargas Mabibigo siyang depensahan ang titulo Laban kay Jesse Magdaleno Sa isang kontrobersyal na laban So once you step back outside You're no longer there for the counters And you counter back You start Step back, back inside, counter. Counter the counter, baby. that you need to get back into your rhythm. He's walking in straight. There's no bounce side to side. There's no rhythm that they worked on. They want him to put the balance on his left foot and go side to side as he moves in. Jesse Magdalene! 
Sa mga panahong ito ay isa pa rin siyang mamahaling bato sa paningin ng mga Pilipino. Pero sa mundo ay tila ba isa na lamang siyang ordinaryong boksingero. Hindi na siya nag-renew ng kontrata sa top rank at pumirma na sa Ringstar Sports at sasali sa World Boxing Super Series. Magagawa niya makaabot sa finals at haharapin si Naoya Inoue, ang halimaw ng Japan. When guys get in the ring with Inoue, they're a bit nervous. You know, the only fighter that entered the ring with some real confidence was Nonito Donaire. Nonito! Many people believe that Donaire showed his Hall of Fame credentials on that particular night. But he's built. na ito ay tinanghal na Fight of the Year. Hindi man niya napanaluna ng Ali Trophy, ay nagawa naman niyang ipaalala sa mga fans ang bangis ng The Filipino Flash taong 2021 sa pagbabalik ni Nonito Donaire. Isang yugto na aklat na naman ang magsisimula sa kanyang karera. Maaagaw niyang muli ang WBC Bantamoy title sa rising talented fighter na si Nordin Ubali. Another left hook! Napatunayan ng kanyang asawa na si Rachel Donaire bilang isang lead trainer na kaya niyang tumayo sa corner ng isang kampiyon. Makakaharap niya muna ang interim champion si Raymart Caballo para sa kanyang mandatory fight sa December 2021. Kung mapagtatagumpayan niya ito, ay posibleng makakaharap niya ang bantamweight unified champion na si Naoya Inoue sa sunod na taon at ang WBO champion na si Janrel Cuadro Alas Casimero. Posible din na bumaba siya ng 115 pounds para maging 5 division world champion. Walang nakakaalam kung anong hadlang sa daan ng mga gustong tahakin ni Donaire. Walang nakakaalam kung paano siya magtatapos at kung kailan siya magpapasa ng sulo. I can never have written a much finer story than, than, than what I've been through. You know, hardship and all, it makes you stronger. I still want to fight. I still want to win and see how far I can go. Because at the end of it all, wow. Nagbago man ang diskarte, wala pa rin senyales ng pagdanda at paghina. Ang past firm na Nonito Donaire Jr. ay muli pang susubukan na magbukas ng panibagong pahina. I was fighter of the year during a time when I was knocking everybody out. For once in my life, I felt I was accomplished. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na yun, like, subscribe to my channel, comment down your opinion, and I will see you guys in the next video. Salamat.